Hi everybody, it is February 14, 2019. It is 12, 11 p.m. on the East Coast, which what makes it 10, 11 a.m. in Utah. What is happening in Utah? I want to thank Lightning Dog for bringing this to my attention. What I see here, and I wish that I could tell you exactly what it is and exactly what the effects are going to be, I can't. But I do believe that, well, it is coming from a Doppler radar station. You've got the extremely low frequencies, as you can see right here, these straight, uh, long bands that are cut out. perfectly defined, extremely long frequencies with high frequency heating, Doppler radar, perhaps turned on to the max, intense, intense frequencies. And anyone living in this area, Utah, uh, Northern Arizona, and Southeast Nevada, how are you guys feeling? But how are you guys feeling? Southern California, you've got the extremely low frequencies that are quite visible right here. These these uh, cutouts, these straight straight lined cutout cutouts, perfectly defined, and you can see all of the precipitation, the bands of precipitation, the rippled bands caused by microwaves. You've got a lot of high frequencies being set off in this area. You also have the extremely low frequencies here in Idaho, all of which have very bad uh, detrimental biological effects to all life, but they also use them for weather. Weather, nothing is natural. This all of this precipitation that you see is not made by Mother Nature. This is made by man using technology that unfortunately could have been used for good, but instead they are using it as a weapon. You see all of these extreme low frequency pulses right into upstate South Carolina where I live. But as you can see, there, there's almost no precipitation taking place. This blue is really from, um, I'm not entirely sure. It, it just could be heavy particulates being picked up. I don't know. Um, but this is not precipitation. But you see, it's like these little green areas that come out of the blue right here. And interesting is that you can see the frequencies pulsating right in this area. And suddenly this, sorry, they were loading images. And suddenly this becomes a, a, a blurb of precipitation, Massachusetts. Um, or, I'm sorry, Pennsylvania. So, not good, guys. I heard from a neighbor last night. We are forecasted to get five days of rain. I said, well, when is that supposed to start? She didn't know. So I'm looking all over. Hmm. Well, where is the precipitation? Where, what, what's happening? Where are even the clouds that are going to be the reason for these five days of rain? Can't find them. Understand this, if man wants to create rain, they can create it out of nothing. So, that's what we're living now. Weather weaponized by man. And please, you know, I wanted to post this as soon as I saw it because I want it to be sent to Mike Morales or anybody else that may know definitively what this is. I do believe that it's Doppler radar. 
but my belief is just my belief. Um, and I don't have, you know, the confidence in this area to speak definitively. Um, but one does not need to have gone to get a degree in meteorology to understand this. Um, wow. So, you want to... <laughs> This is what it looks like on National Mosaic. Not good. Utah, you are <laughs> uh, the National Weather Service has alerted you to a storm coming. What a surprise. Look at the harp neck ring right here. So you can see the very defined cir circle right here, this circular pattern, extend it all the way out. And yeah, you've got massive frequencies being set off right here in this area. All of the extremely low frequencies, the Doppler radar, the next next red harp rings, extending out, intersecting. Well, they're working something here in this area, but the bands here, the microwaves, well, the high frequency heating, which I will show you in a minute on another site, the microwaves can heat up the atmosphere as well. Um, Sorry. These extremely low frequencies being set off in Idaho, extending into Oregon. Lots and lots of intense frequencies, and I would like to know how you guys are feeling. Um, it's a shame we couldn't get any of this stopped, but we couldn't. And it's heartbreaking to see how many people have to suffer the results. High frequency heating. Look at all of the ripple, the, uh, the ripples right here. So you had all of the Netrad harp rings that you saw in California off the coast and, and in because they don't just stop here. Extend the circle far out. And unfortunately, what this portends is, is really not good news because they can bring about tornadoes, they can bring about massive flooding, and that's what the National Weather Service has indicated for Utah. Potential flooding and lots of snow in the mountain areas. So you see all of the high frequency heating from these uh, Doppler radar Nexrad you know, stations, the Nexrad harp rings, you see them? These are indications that this is not Mother Nature, but these are signatures of man controlling weather. So the high frequency heating, all of this red. You guys in this area, you're being cooked. Even on AccuWeather, there it is, your harp next red ring, Doppler radar stations are mini harp stations. And while you can't see it in the National Mosaic, you can't see the next red harp rings, which are, let's see, down here, uh, also, yes, Utah, which extends into Nevada and California. And this harp, next red ring, extends into New Mexico and intersects with this one up here 
in Utah on into Colorado. So, um, if you can't see something on one site, you go to other sites, but you're not going to hear anything from AccuWeather. They will report it as just this natural happening that, oh, due to climate change, all of what was natural has now been made extreme. They won't tell you that man has taken over weather. Man has taken over Mother Nature's natural processes. So, what are they saying? They are saying that, well, what can be expected today and tonight? Widespread mountain snow, snow accumulation in um, Cache uh, Valley or Cache Valley. Um, va valley snow, bountiful. Valley rain with little snow. Snow in Castle County and the Uinta, Uinta Basin. I'm sure, I mispronounced that. Increasing temperatures. Heavy rain over southern Utah, that's today. Widespread mountain snow, about 8,000 feet, um, not 8,000 feet of snow <laughs> at, you know, 8,000 feet. Valley rain, mountain snow, statewide, heaviest precipitation overnight, Thursday. You guys prepare for flooding. I'm not saying that that's going to happen. We just don't ever know what what man will bring us. Multiple storms will affect Utah and southwest Wyoming this week. The next system will move through Utah tomorrow, bringing the potential for flooding to southern Utah. Great. All right. Stay stay. Excuse me, stay strong, guys. Stay strong. And keep. Hang on. Sorry, just had a cough and fit. Continue to strengthen your immune system. One, one way to do it that is simple, and if you can, because I know a lot of people can't tolerate raw garlic, but I eat raw garlic. Do I feel great? No. But I still uh, have a pretty strong immune system. Unfortunately, today, a strong immune system does not mean that you don't suffer symptoms. Not with man controlling everything, taking over natural processes, artificial frequencies, all of the toxic spraying, yada, yada, yada. You all know that. All right. Ciao, guys.